Why, hello there, everyone. My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. Hope you guys have had a fantastic day. We're on the 96th episode, guys, edging ever closer to the big 100. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. So today, my friends, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of an odd jobs episode again. Uh, there's a few projects I have in mind that I'd like to go ahead and get done. We've got our project Shulker Box for today. And if you guys guessed that we're going to be working on the pathways a little bit more, uh, you would be very much correct. So, if I was to have a little bit of a fly and not kill myself in the process, uh, basically, guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be decorating this pathway with trees and foliage and various other bits and bobs, and the style of which is going to match the pathway style we've got going on here, except, you know, with the difference that this is spruce oak. Not, not spruce oak, some spruce wood. And then, uh, yeah, the one over there is like path blocks and stuff. But yeah, the sides are basically going to be the same in addition to having some trees. We're also going to be finally making a pathway to the secret entrance to the mansion in that you could just go up there and you're straight away inside the mansion. So we don't have a pathway. We're going to do that in today's episode. And the final thing we're going to do in today's episode, guys, is can you remember the centerpiece courtyard area of the mansion? You know, we've got this place right here. Well, we found that panda in the last episode, did we not? So, I think as a bit of a nice memento, what we could do is convert this area into a panda enclosure, guys. What do you guys think about that? A nice panda enclosure? We've already got the pods all from the freaking bamboo forest biome. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to have ourselves a whole bunch of bamboo going on. We're going to try and terraform this just a tiny bit to make it look a little bit more natural. We're probably going to color in the beacon as well to a different color. Maybe green would be the logical solution. So, yeah. It's going to be a good time, guys. It's going to be a fan freaking fantastic time. So, what we're going to start off with, though, is the small pathway going from the bottom here over to the Flora Valley slash Python Industries pathway, right? So, we're probably going to connect it up uh, to the corner here or something and then just have it go down the hill, go back up, you know, make it look all nice and natural. Always going to be a great time, guys. So, if you're excited for this video, please do be sure to drop a like rating. But, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, guys. So, how about it? We're about to go ahead and... Uh, you know get this actual pathway going so how's about we do a little bit of this we're going to make it go up this hill right here and then all we're going to do is very simply uh try to bring this pathway sort of way over this way and then sort of bend around the corner and therefore connect up with this area here okay so it should be pretty simple my friends should be pretty darn simple now of course uh you know we've got ourselves i mean this area here is pretty straight actually i kind of don't like that so what i think we're gonna do is actually bring it out slightly over this way and yeah, we could have ourselves, you know, at least a semi-organic, semi-good looking pathway, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, there we go, okay. Uh, so we could probably do another sort of instance of that. So if we do this and then bring this up like, rather like that, uh, we could probably do a tiny bit of terraforming like that. Just trying to make this look a little bit more natural. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Okay, and then all we got to do is just sort of connect it up to there, which is going to be very, very simple. So, yep, let's get that going. And yeah, all right, nice and simple. I should probably put that in there as well. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the pathway itself is actually done, but of course, we are not just going to leave it there, my friends. Not at all, in fact. We are going to go ahead and decorate this bad boy. Do we have pods all along the side of the pathways? Uh, yes, we do. Okay, so in addition to the uh, pods all, I did also notice some path blocks. So... Rather like I usually do, all we're going to do is very randomly start placing in uh, some path blocks here. Well, I say placing in path blocks. You don't place them, do you? You, you create them by right-clicking with a shovel. That's how it works. Oh, jeez, man. Hello. Hi. Hi. How you doing there, brother? Uh, nope. I ain't, I ain't about this life, son. No, 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 no. Hey, go on. Get out of here, son. All right, there you go. You'll love to see it. Get freaking wrecked, you bunch of butts. All right, so let's get you placed in there. Okay, so we've got the pods on next. I mean, it should be pretty darn simple. So let's... Oh, hello. Oh, that makes me feel a bit uneasy. Ugh, Endermen always make me feel really uneasy on this game. They can do a pretty significant amount of damage. Even with full diamond armor, my friends, they are not something to be laughed at. No, 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 no. They're nasty. They are nasty little bums. No one likes them. No, 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 no. 
well, unless you make a farm out of him, in which case it's actually not that bad. But you know what I'm saying. They're still not very nice to deal with. So there we go. We've got the pods all in place. Looking pretty good. Uh, okay, so the next element, of course, we've got some coarse dirt. We could also uh, do with putting some of that in. Just to, again, give it a little bit of texture variation. And then once we've done that, we should be able to get on with uh, putting some foliage in here. And making it look really done, you know? It's going to be a fantastic time. Okay, so let's get you placed in there. You in there. And we'll put one final one in there. Okay, cool. So, looking good so far, guys. Looking good so far. We could probably get away with using some of the brand new 1.14 stuff. So, we've got the stone brick walls. Oh, hello there, sir. You appear to have a grass block in your hand. I'm not entirely sure that I appreciate that, my friend. I really, really don't. So... If you could, uh, you know, do us a favor and sort of scuttle off, I think we'll all be in for a good time, you know? So, yeah, if you could just kindly do that, that'd be fantastic. Okay, got some little posts going on here and there. Looking pretty good. So, how about some leaves? Yes, leaves always spruce up any pathway. They really, really do. So... You know, all we're going to do is just sort of randomly place them down. We'll have some double tall ones in places, some single tall ones in places as well. Uh, maybe we can have a little bit there. We'll have a little bit there and a little bit more round here. You know, this is very, very simple stuff, my friends. You've seen me do this many, many times before. But to be honest, I like, I like doing it on camera. I like showing you guys my creative process. I think it's really, really cool. So, yeah. All right. Looking good. Okay. And now, of course, we've got the final element, which is very simply uh, bone mealing the ground just a little bit. So maybe we can surround this pathway with some foliage. Again, some double tall grass could be kind of nice in places. Uh, and yeah, as a result of doing this, we'll have ourselves a very natural, very nice looking pathway. And I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. So there we go, my friends. Believe it or not, that is pretty much done with the exception of lighting. Ooh, almost forgot about that, didn't I? I probably shouldn't forget about that because lighting up your builds is always a good idea. <laughs> you don't want to just get killed on your own pathway. That ain't cool. No, 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 no. Okay, so uh, we'll put one underneath here. There we go. Uh, we'll put one underneath here as well. And, uh, well, you know, a nicely lit up pathway means we're not going to die. It's going to be a good time, my friends. There we go. Yeah, you love to see it. So there we go, my friends. First project done for the day. Very, very simple. A nice little pathway connecting up to the Flora Valley Python Industries pathway. Awesome. All right, let's move on. Alrighty, guys. Now to get into the real meat of the episode. We have ourselves this massive pathway. And I think probably the easiest way to decorate it would be to do a bit of a step-by-step -step kind of deal. In that I think, first of all, what I'm going to do is, you know, sparsely populate this pathway with a bunch of trees. And then from having the trees, I should be able to pretty easily decorate the pathway in the same kind of style as what we did at the start of the episode for the first pathway, right? So, like I say, what we're going to start off is with the trees. So let's give that a go and see how it looks. Alrighty guys, so the trees have been added. I decided to use a culmination of spruce and oak because, well, I don't really know to be honest. I just kind of decided it would be a cool idea. And to be honest, it's kind of worked. I feel like this has worked pretty well. Like I say, I haven't, you know, populated it too much. I've tried to do it a little bit more sparsely so we've got, you know, room for the other decorations we want to do. Uh, so, yeah, I think maybe the next step would be to randomize some, uh, some podzole and coarse dirt in here. Alrighty guys, so step two is done. We've randomized in some podzole and some coarse dirt and it's starting to look like... A bit more of a pathway, to be honest. It's looking pretty good, isn't it, guys? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we really wanted to, we could go ahead and say that this pathway is now done. But no, 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 no. No, it is not. It is not. The next step is going to be adding in some little walls, especially when it comes to this sort of cliffside here. We want to make this pathway seem just a little bit more safe, you know? So, yeah. Next step is going to be some walls. And then after that, I think a little bit of foliage, you know, some leaves and some various other things, and we'll be done. And we can move on to the panda enclosure. All right, step three is now done. We've got ourselves some little fences in here and there. And I've also decided to add a little bit of a, a, a rim or a little bit of a railing in air quotes. Uh, to the edge here. This was just water, you know, going up straight to the path. But I decided to, uh, you know, add a little bit of a railing in because why not? And yeah, as you can see, my friends, it's starting to really get there, isn't it? I think once we get these leaves in and we bone meal the surrounding grass, I think we will be able to call this place done uh, then. I mean, if we really wanted to, we could always go ahead and add in some flower pots. I mean, you know, it's me, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> Could be a fun time, right? Could be a fun time. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, dear. Anyways, let's get these leaves in and we'll see what happens. Alrighty, guys. Step four is done. We've got some foliage on the side of the pathways now. In addition to some lights, we've got some hidden glowstone here and there. And yeah, as you can see, as we just run along here, uh, the railing, in air quotes, the railing is uh, a little bit more safe now. We can't just like jump over. I mean, we could if we really wanted to just jump into the water, have a little bit of a swim. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. A little bit of exercise. But still, uh, you know, we're looking good. So yeah, guys. Everything's looking really, really nice. And I think the final element is just to go ahead and bone meal the ground. And also, go to sleep. Because, um, yeah, there are hostile enemies of the night who want to kill me. And I don't want that to happen. So, yeah. All right, let's bone meal the ground. And then that'll be the pathway done. Hey, guys. So, as I've been bone mealing the ground, it kind of brought me onto this thing. Check it out. For 1.14, we actually have some brand new flowers. One of which grows in the plain spine, which is this one right here. We have our first ever blue flower outside of the swamp biome, which is kind of fantastic. I'm actually a big, big fan of that. So this is the corn flower, and it gives you blue dye, rather similar to how lapis lazuli also now gives you blue dye when you just put it in the crafting uh, table. So yeah, that's looking pretty cool, guys. We've got ourselves our first ever new flower. There's two other flowers. Uh, wait, what are they? So you've got the corn flower. There was a white one that generates now in forest biomes, and then there's also one that you get from having the wither kill an enemy or something like that the wither rose i'd love to try and get that at some point but probably not in today's episode because we still have ourselves one more project to do today which is to do the panda enclosure so guys it's time for some fun times oh we're going to try and find a way of luring the freaking panda all the way back here from over a thousand blocks away oh wow well, this is going to be a bit of a slog isn't it but oh well we'll do our best guys we'll do our best Oh, buddy, guys, so check it out. We're back at where the panda was in the last episode, my friends. Oh, good day to you there, sir. How about you go ahead and die real quick? There you go. And I am going to go ahead and uh, pick up some bamboo because apparently the pandas will actually follow you if you have it. Yep, there you go. Okay, cool. So, uh, we are about 1,500 blocks away in both axes away from our spawn and therefore the mansion, right? Um, so I think probably the easiest way to do this would be to send the panda through the nether and then hopefully we should wind up automatically connecting back to our tunnel system, use the tunnel system, get it back to the mansion and then we should be good to go in terms of transforming the central area into a panda enclosure. So we have ourselves some obsidian, I've got myself flint and steel, so all I need to do is I need to go ahead, create a portal, hopefully, oh, Hey, pretty cool. Okay. Boop. Oh, hello there, buddy. You just made one of my obsidian blocks glitch away. Oh, wait. No, no. It came back. Cool. Ooh, I would have been a little bit mad because then I'd have to go way underground and do a bunch of stuff and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, uh, so grass block. Let's get you placed in there. Get you placed in there. Boop, boop, and boop. Yeah. All right. So portal is activated. All right, buddy. You are going into the nether. In, into the into the nether with you. Go on. Goodbye. Bye bye. All right. So hopefully this shouldn't have created a new portal. I'm really hoping it hasn't because if it has, then we could be in trouble. Oh, I don't know where it's spawning is. I don't know where it's spawning is. I'm genuinely nervous, guys. Oh no, it's created a new portal. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Um. Uh. Mr. Panda. Hello. Um. This isn't good. I mean. Ugh. Hmm, this is actually really not good. Hmm. I need to somehow make my way to zero zero with this guy and not kill him. Um, yeah. This could be easier said than done. I mean, I don't know, maybe the easiest idea would be to just sort of make our way way up to the bedrock ceiling and then just go from there, try to find our tunnel system. Ugh! Okay, right. Um, I might have to temporarily trap you somewhere then. Like, maybe I'll just chuck you in here. Hey, buddy. Hey, you want to go sit in a hole for a little bit? I'll give you some bamboo. I'll give you some bamboo. Then you can then you can have a nice time. There you go. <laughs> All yours. I'll give you a whole bunch more as well. <laughs> All right, so which way are we looking? We need to go this way and then this way. So I think we'll try and cancel out our Z coordinate first. So I need to make this two blocks wide as well. So 
It's going to be such a pain, guys, but it's going to be worth it. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys, we might be slightly on fire by a little hidden lava source, but check it out, guys. We've actually bumped right back into our tunnel system, and I actually managed to get it the perfect altitude. Y equals 115. Awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go grab the panda. We're going to lure him around, even though they're super freaking slow at moving. Oh, gosh, this might take a while again, but hey-ho, guys, it's going to be worth it. I know I'm complaining, but it's going to be worth it. So let's get down there. Let's get this panda up here. And guys, it's going to be such a good time to have a panda in our little enclosure centerpiece area of the mansion. It's going to be fantastic. Let's do it. Girl, blimey, this is going to take a while, huh? Come on, buddy. Come on. Apparently, they need three block spaces in order to move. I mean, if I was to just bring him up here, it wouldn't work. He'd just sort of stay down there. Or is he? Yeah, yeah, look at that. He's just staying down there. Whereas if I was to go ahead and open this up a little bit, yeah, look at that. He comes up the next step. Interesting. All right, slowly but surely, I'm learning their behavior. <laughs> All righty, Mr. Panda. Come on, little fella. Well, big fella. You're a big fella. Go on, let's get through here. Oh, my gosh. This is the Floor Valley portal, which means there might be some weird stuff on the other side. Please don't suffocate. Please don't suffocate? Question mark? Where is he? Oh, okay. Thank goodness. Right, we might... Uh. Might temporarily have to get rid of this so I can get you through here. And then all we got to do is get you in the mansion. Come on, then. Alrighty, guys. A quick temporary glass break. And... Oh, I have to break this up as well, apparently. Come on, then. In you come. Okie doke. Yeah. There you go, buddy. It's all yours. Have yourself a little bit of a treat. You deserve it there, buddy. They're very cooperative, actually. I don't know. Maybe it's because... I don't know. I just haven't had any troubles with them. I just haven't had any troubles. Look at that. He's in his, he's in his enclosure now. <laughs> all right. All I need to do is decorate it. And guys, we are done for the episode. So let's do exactly that. We're going to grab ourselves out some decorative stuff. Uh, we're going to terraform. We're going to put some leaves down, various other bits and bobs. You guys know how it goes at this point. So yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. So slowly but surely, we're in the process of decorating and getting this enclosure finished. So I decided what might be a nice idea is if we bring in some sugarcane into the equation as well. So what we could potentially do is maybe hide a water source back there and then we bring in the podzo and then we put that on top rather like that, right? Yeah, and then we can have it be a little bit taller as well. Okay, uh, let's do the same uh, under here, for example. Okay, maybe this one can just be double tall and then we'll have like one more little bit of sugarcane. Uh, I'm thinking like maybe under here because why not? Okay, so uh, final water bucket. There we go. Let's get you placed back in like that. You placed in like that. And guys, all we're going to do now very simply is we are going to use some bone meal so we can force grow this stuff real nice like. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to randomly place these things around at this point. Uh, so we'll put some like around the beacon so you can't really see the green uh, glass. That's certainly the intention anyway. Uh, so let's bring this around here. We can have one down there and then one down there. Uh, obviously, we can just go ahead and get rid of this and then we can, you know, make a whole bunch more. So yeah, it's a good time, my friends. It's going to be a good time and I'm I'm looking forward to seeing this thing complete. I really, really am. So yeah, okay, that one's grown real nice. Uh, these ones back here. Uh, yeah, guys, all we're going to do is just chuck some bone meal towards these things. And uh, we'll see how it looks. Like, uh, the question is, how dense do we want this to be? I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't feel like I want to go too dense because I'd like to actually be able to see the panda. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. So, I don't know. So, we're just putting a few bits of bone meal on each. And then we should be good. Oh, well, actually, that's it when it actually comes down to it. Ah, oh, dang blast it. Do I have any more bone meal anywhere? Uh, what about in this, in any of these shulker boxes? Uh, oh, I do. Okay, fantastic. Oh, thank goodness me. I thought I was going to have to go without for a little bit there. Okay, cool. Let's continue on. Those are all looking pretty good. Uh, some more. Yeah, we've got a little bit there, a little bit in there. And we could probably get away with even more because, you know, our panda's probably going to be quite hungry most of the time, right? He's a big fella. Big fellas are going to eat lots of things, right? So, I don't know. Makes logical sense to me. Okay, a uh, little bit more there. Like, are we going too overboard at this point? I don't know. I'll tell you what. We'll use the final bits of bamboo that we have here. And then I think we'll be good. I think we'll genuinely be good. Okay. And then sort of back here is looking a little bit lonely. So we can get a little bit in there. A little bit in there. And let's get that one grown as well. Okay. So, guys. Moment of truth. How is it looking for a panda enclosure? I am loving it. I love it, dude. 
Okay, I think there's only one other thing that could possibly make this better. Give me a sec. I'll see if I can find some. All right, folks, I think we're just about good. So this is what I was looking for. Just some long grass. Obviously, we can bone meal some to make it double tall. But I just wanted to add a little bit more green into the equation because it's very, very brown, isn't it? It's very brown, and I feel like a little bit of green is definitely in order. It's a shame that you can't bone meal pods all directly and you get some sort of special grass or special flower or something like that. I think that'd be really, really cool, but you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? You just you you just play with what you're given, right? So yeah, all is well. Alright, and how's it looking now? Is there anywhere that's a little bit neglected? Uh probably put one over there, put one back here, put one back here. Uh and then maybe one like directly in this corner, which is double tall. Yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A proper enclosure for our little panda friend. Huh? I'm hoping he can still, like, properly move around. Yeah, he can. Okay, okay. And I tell you what, just because I'm feeling nice, I will give you some bamboo to nom on. Oh, you love to see it. There you go, my friends. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on that successful note, it is time to end the episode. But as always, guys, before we head off, we've got the comment question of the video coming from Team 5, who very simply asks, Python, can you explain everything about Season 2? Because I'm a derp. Hey, man, you're not a derp. I imagine some of you guys are new to the series. I mean, for whatever reason, the last episode, episode 95, hit search results really freaking well. So for all of you new guys, a big warm welcome to the series. I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you stick around, because honestly, we've got a brand new season coming up. Episode 101 onwards, we will be starting afresh, in air quotes, in a brand new section of the world. We will be in this world, okay? This Let's Play will always be in this world, but I might split it up into sort of air quotes seasons where we start afresh in various parts of the world so we can, you know, so we can, you know, play the game for fun, you know? It's just how it is. The start of Minecraft is where I feel like I shine. So, yeah, it's my favorite part of Minecraft as well is the start. So, yeah. So, I had a couple of suggestions come in for what we could do for Season 2. One of which was to actually start in the brand new 1.14 Bamboo Forest biome. Because it is such a cool biome. It's such a flat biome. It's fine building territory. And it's got super green grass. I mean, what else could you want, my friends? What else could you want? So, yeah, that's definitely a suggestion I'm going to be taking in on board. Uh, another one would be to add a little bit of a survival challenge in that I disable natural health regeneration. Essentially activating ultra hardcore mode, but we wouldn't be on hardcore. We would be on normal mode so we could still respawn. But the added challenge is that we won't be able to regen health unless we have, like, beacons or potions or all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I like, a, I like an additional survival challenge. I really do. And I open that question up to you guys. Like, please do head down to the comments area below if you guys have any suggestions for things we can be doing in Season 2. Then, by all means, head down to the comments area. Let me know about it, guys. But thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, a little bit of an odd jobs episode, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Be sure to hit the big fat thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But guys, that's going to wrap it up. The mansion is officially complete, including the centerpiece. And we're looking good. Oh, yes, Mr. Panda. It's all looking good. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.